Hey there, it's John. Welcome back to the channel. But hey, but where'd you go? <laughs> Today we're gonna be reviewing a mod called Unnamed C. Uh, it's by a this creator here, and it's fantastic. You can find it on uh, Curse Forge. Uh, this is the link to it. You can copy and paste the link in the description down below as well. This one's running on Fabric, and it's running in 1.21.1. And what it does is basically takes the vanilla world of Minecraft and makes it more exciting. It doesn't add any mechanics really to the game. It just adds more points of interest, more things to see, more places to explore. Like you can see behind me, there's a raft, there is a ship, and both are floating. They have villagers on them, which makes it really freaking unique and very cool. And there was a crab here next to me, but it, it, he vanished. And I don't know why, what happened to him, but it just does despawn. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and jump into it and see if we can find some of these uh, wonderful points of interest. Now, this is a cool little raft right here. It's got two villagers on it. And I don't know if they trade. Let's go ahead and see. It looks like they trade. This one trades for some uh, a bucket of cod. And this one doesn't look like he has a job. He's just uh, for first mate. <laughs> so they got some wheat. It looks like they're maybe they're a wheat trader. Oh, then they have some free food, basically, which makes it really, really, really nice to, to find these guys and actually come up with some some grub now there's also this i don't know if it's a pirate ship or a regular ship whoa look at that structure over there that is rad anyway so this is a little boat here i don't see any villagers on it um there's some hay bales there is there's a trip wire here or is it not a trip wire no there's nothing in the furnace uh there's looks like a map there a compass there uh, there's a, a map here, a buried treasure map here as well, and a bed. That makes it really nice, as well as some coal and some gold down here. Oh, cool. Is there anything else? Just some gold. Oh, there's a there's a chest. Oh, that's got some stuff in it as well, uh, and some uh, smithing templates. That's really cool. So you got coal, gold, and whatever random stuff you happen to run across that happens to be in the chest, as well as some melons and some pumpkins, and it makes these things worthwhile to find. Uh, out in the open so let's go ahead and see if we can find more uh very unique things as far as this mod goes okay so it looks like there's a lot of boats just makes the ocean full of stuff then so it's not just bare when you're out out to sea uh, this guy has another first mate and what kind of stuff is he trading okay for fish so it's gonna mostly be like is it he's a fisherman right or she's a fisherman, whatever. Uh, and then in the chest is gonna be roughly the same stuff and has an empty map, a book, and a fishing rod. That's kind of nice. And then there's another couple over here. Thing of these, I, you would imagine that there would be villagers on these guys, but there are not. There's no pirates or anything along those lines. The basic stuff again, uh, a map, a cartography table, and then down below, uh, same gold. And oh, better stuff. This one has a bunch of iron and an emerald and some lapis which again very cool and a bunch of coal coal is nice to have all right then we have these lighthouses which are pretty freaking cool and i i thought i saw like finn over here but i think it's a it's a zombie with a sword and a helmet on okay cool so we've got some overpowered uh enemies in here let's go ahead and go inside and see what this lighthouse brings for us Oh, zombie and skeletons dungeon. Hey, hey, hey guys. <laughs> There's, oh, baby zombie. There is the danger right there. And they're all helmeted. They've all got helmets on. Uh, There's some gold armor with some, what do you call it on it? That's pretty rad. Got some fishing rods, got some food, water. Uh, This actually has iron in the, in the furnace. Uh, There is iron here or copper. This is copper all right here downstairs. And then we can go on upstairs to the second floor. Second floor has more coal in it. Uh, it looks like the a bed maybe for the zombies to sleep on. I don't know, there's a bucket up here. There is a decent amount of loot. I don't know what's in those, if those even carry anything. There's string there for some reason, maybe so that doesn't grow any further. Uh, let's go to the next floor. Uh, more skeletons. You gotta come up here pretty prepared. There is a compass up here and a map. And then I think this is the, not the top, almost the top. Uh, you gotta, yeah, like I said, you gotta come up here pretty prepared. There's some pumpkin seeds. There's some kelp and wheat. Okay. And then is this the final floor? 
uh, more skeletons up here, a zombie up here, uh, some random garbage. Uh, that has some decent loot in it. I mean, it's got some emeralds. That's good. Uh, this one has emeralds, some copper, and some coal. Nothing fancy. And then I don't know if you can get up into the lighthouse or not, but it doesn't appear like that you can. I mean, the lighthouse itself is lit up, but it looks like it's stuck. Like it doesn't spin around. I don't know if it's supposed to or, or whatnot, but yeah, <laughs> it, that's the gist of it. Uh, yeah, it looks like you can get some pretty cool uh, materials up here. Nothing fancy as far as like weapons or armor, except for that very first floor that happened to have the, uh, the gold armor, which is, it's okay. It's nothing fantastic to write home about, but it's still nice. Nice to have. Oh yeah. See, they do have pillagers on them. And they're going to come over here and kill these dudes. Oh no. This one had pillagers on it. So they are a pirate ship. So it's going to be hit or miss. Well, those guys are going to do a whole lot of hitting. Those, those poor suckers are pretty done for. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. I, I saw nothing. I saw nothing. Oh, there's a uh, ocean monument. So this one doesn't have pillagers on. I wonder if they only have pillagers if they're really close to the rafts. This one's a little bit different. It just has like the first mate on it. It doesn't have the captain. Um, it still has some loot, nothing fancy though. Uh, the other ones have better loot on them. This is a really big skiff, but these guys are getting attacked already. Is there a ship nearby? There is. Oh wow, the pirates really, really got, got to these guys. There we go. Sorry guys, there you go. Oh, at least the first mate made it. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Oops. Uh, this one has a little bit more loot in it. Looks like they have a lot more food. So these guys are a little better, a little better suited for the, uh, the open waters. Um, not much though. They just have the one chest, right? So just one chest full of food, no seafood, which is interesting. So they're, they're not going to get scurvy though. They're not, <laughs> they have plenty of, they have plenty of, uh, fruits and veggies. <laughs> okay. There are two ocean monuments there, one there and one there. This is nuts. Okay. So it does make the sea a little more exciting in the sense there is a lot of stuff to see. I mean, there's a sunken pirate ship over there. There's a ship over there. There's a ship right here. There is uh, a skiff over there uh, and another smaller ship way over there. So it does make for some very exciting. Is there a house underwater or is it just a structure? It's just a structure, but it looked like a house from distance. There is more boats over there. There are plenty of ships out to sea. <laughs> so you're, you're not going to get, there's another ocean monument. Holy moly. I mean, I guess if you needed gold, there you go. Hey, hey little crab. Well, there are also little, little, uh, little hermit crabs in the game too. So, hey, little buddy, uh, he's going to probably bury himself in the sand. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> see you later bud anyways i hope you guys enjoyed uh this wonderful little mod review i think this uh mod is very very cool if you want to play more vanilla without having to add crazy mechanics to the game or magic or anything along those lines keeping the game fairly fairly vanilla with adding really cool new structures points of interest around the ocean biome so and the beaches and whatnot it makes it for a more fun fulfilling fulfilling game there's also another mod uh this by the same creator uh called unnamed desert um i'd love to do a review on that if you guys are interested in that let me know by hitting the thumbs up uh, on this video also follow along by hitting that subscribe button until the next one see ya